So the question is, how do you innovate? But we're, I'm going to give you a, a few tips on how to go about doing it. Shema, financial support. So these days, Shema, it's not as important as previously. Of course, for some technical areas, you do need uh, a lot of financial support. However, for a lot of um, innovative elements like web development, like software development, app development, and if a lot of you are from Oman, so most, you know, a lot of you are also taking part of the Oman uh, open source challenge. So in those areas, you don't really need a lot of money to be uh, innovative. It's just that you've got to find that really great idea. And that great idea uh, should, come at, uh, should come from what makes you unique. Now think about your own, uh, you know, yourself. Think about yourself and think about what is it that I'm really passionate about. I want to hear your feedback in the chat, uh, you know, chat box. What is it that you're passionate about? What are your passions? What are your experiences? You know, what do clients tell you? If you already have something that you've tried to uh, start uh, and to, uh, you know, you've prototyped a product or something, what is it that people tell you? What is it that prospects tell you? People who haven't bought from you yet or who uh, haven't, go, who haven't seen your product yet, but people who could be buyers in the future, when you ask them about what the, their needs are, what do they tell you? What is, what is missing in the market? What are your competitors missing out on? Um, what do you see? Where's the gap? But I want to mainly focus on these two things. And I can see Mubashir Kabir is saying engineering is, is, is passion. Um, so what about your experiences? So this is really what makes a difference in innovation. It's not about, there are so many ideas out there. And the ideas are really worthless. It's the people that, take those ideas and implement them and make them a success, uh, they are the ones that um, are the, the true entrepreneurs, the people that make a difference. And the only way you can take an idea to the nth degree and push it and follow up on it as an entrepreneur is if you're passionate about it. And it has to be something related to what you know of as an experience. And even a lot of you are still in university, you're still young, so you might not have a lot of uh, work experience. However, I'm sure you will have some uh, experiences that you, uh, you know, you have as part of your growing up. It could be that your uh, experience in, uh, you know, doing some community work. It could be some experience in uh, dealing with uh, someone in your family or in your neighborhood that has some difficulties, and based upon that, you're, you know, you've learned some experiences with them. It could be an experience that you have from one of your hobbies that you've uh, developed. So even if you're still in university, you're still young, you could have some really great experiences um, that can add value to what makes you unique. And this is really a very important thing I want you to think about. What is it that makes you unique? What is it that makes you different? So... Sadia is saying, my passion is to do something or provide education to my country. So that's a great passion. Uh, and that's a great incentive, uh, Sadia. So what about your experience? What makes you well positioned to be able to do that? Is it that you, your family has always been an educator? Is it because um, you, you like to teach in a certain way? Is it because you found that working with uh, you know, an age, certain age group, you could basically do something different. So what is it that, from your experience, gives you the, the most strength uh, to be able to be unique and differentiate yourself from the market? So that's a very important first point for you to look at, all, all of you to look at what makes you unique. And these are your guidelines.